headed to the launch. We have our mission commander over there. And we have mom the navigator. <laughs> and I'm your host. So we tried to make some reservations and we called a couple different places and we're finding out that it's very hard to get a reservation. Actually, it's impossible to get a reservation. One restaurant actually told us that they don't take any reservations on the same day as a launch and that there's already people starting to fill up. So this is gonna be exciting. I hope we can find us a place to grab something to eat, but if we gotta to go to Taco Bell and see a rocket launch, that's what we'll do. <laughs> All right, so we're headed down this back country road between St. Cloud and 528, trying to get as close as we can. About an hour and 20 minutes out. We're gonna to try to get as close as we can. We did have thoughts of having dinner over in Port Canaveral, somewhere in the area. However, most of the restaurants we called, uh, there was a little chuckle and they said, no effing way, pretty much. Not exactly that, but pretty much that. So if anybody is wanting to go see the launch and you want to go have a nice dinner, romantic dinner, make sure you book out about six months ahead of time. No, just make sure you, you call ahead of time. Most people did say that they don't take reservations the day of the launch and that they're always packed. And with this being a historic launch, then naturally they're gonna probably be more packed. So we got mom in the back sporting her Global Bob's Adventure. Of course, me, Global Bob, is your host. We have the most excellent pilot here, piloting the Mercedes, or our chauffeur. Hey, gals. <laughs> hey, I heard. Did you hear the news? There's a SpaceX launch today. Get it? Heard there's a SpaceX launch? <laughs> they probably got the best view. I bet they've seen every launch. Nah. What what'd you say? <laughs> Get the hell out of the way, we got a launch to go to. Yeah, when the countdown's on. I'm so lucky that I got a phone call asking if I wanted to go to space. I'm from Louisiana. I was a super active, super outgoing kid, involved in everything, and I actually had just gotten my black belt in Taekwondo. <laughs> She's a black a belt dude. I was diagnosed with cancer. Going over the little river that feeds into the Indian River. So we're making our way closer and closer. And one of the observations so far is, is that I thought there would be more people than this. I thought we would be lucky to even get to the uh, river, but we made it across the river with minimal traffic. And now we are headed north and closing the gap between us and the Space Center. So the idea is, is that we're gonna to try to get as close as possible and then set up and watch. But just really surprised. I was really hoping that the United States and everybody would get behind this and this would be like when we launched the first space shuttle out. I remember coming here as a small child and you would not have gotten this close. No how, no way. But. Nevertheless, we're making our way there, and we are about 30 minutes out to blast off. But they probably had the cops out here thinking there's going to be a bigger presence. Yeah. Nice. Super engines, uh, oh, the, this says the launch. No, 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 So we're about 22 minutes out and we are just fueling up ourselves here at the Circle K and this is the uh, closest convenience store to where they made us turn around. So we went there and they asked us to turn around, the nice officers did. So we come back, we're going to refuel, maybe grab some adult beverages and uh, see what we can see. So here comes our mission specialist out, flanked by our pilot. 
It looks like they have fueled up. That young lady was from Indiana also. Uh, I bought her drinks. She oh, which one? That little girl was sad uh, that she didn't know what to think. So here we are. We're about eight minutes out from liftoff. We are rocking our Global Bob's Adventure shirts. This is my first nighttime shoot, so I'm having to play around with the ISO settings. But anyways, you can't get any closer than this because there's a guy up there with a badge and a gun couple guys and so this is the liftoff of inspiration four mom so you wanted to see this thing go yeah we are about five minutes out from it it's almost time to light that birthday candle godspeed to jared and the crew of spacex haley's my favorite haley's so your favorite there you go Haley. this is on my bucket list brandy can you tell us about the mosquitoes out here <laughs> they're the state bird of florida <laughs> Pro tip everybody, if you're going to hang out Woo! the swamp and watch the SpaceX launch, make sure you bring plenty of cold beer and mosquito repellent. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so which one's your favorite one? Who's your person on the inspiration for? Jared. Jared! Yeah! Who's your person? Haley! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> and for me, us nerds have to stick together and it is Chris! Yes! Which way is it going, Mom? It's going that way! <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. Four minutes out. Four minutes and counting. Chris, Haley, Jared, and Sion, we wish you luck. We're here watching you. One minute out. Jared has the controls according to the launch director. 30 seconds. How many seconds? Less than 30 now, dude. Oh, Lord. It's exciting, isn't it? 10 seconds. Oh, you can see it. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Look at that. It's not even off the pad yet. You see that wow, flame coming. Wow, look at that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Go inspiration four. Woo! Starting to get a nice audio coming through too. <laughs> oh my goodness! Ooh. Wow! Wow! <laughs> That's amazing. <gasps> Listen to it. Wow! Oh my god! You can hear everybody's. <laughs> That's not. You hear everybody awesome. screaming. Yeah. <laughs> That is crazy, knowing how they got there and yeah. the first launch of the all civilian crew forever leaves wow, its mark in history. <laughs> Inspiration awesome. for. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Oh, they call it the jellyfish. There you oh have it, everybody. Gosh. It's doing the jellyfish. Not the jellyfish. Look at that. Oh, cool. Oh, my goodness. That, that, that is amazing. It's beautiful. The Falcon 9 is doing the jellyfish in the evening sky. We can clearly see the first and second stages. Thomas with a great track there wow. for us. Oh, so you see him falling on yeah. the yeah. Oh, my this gosh. At night here in Florida in the evening. Absolutely this incredible. This is beautiful. Um, this performance is, awesome. is right on target so I far from the stages. Got to see it. You can oh see the cold gas goodness. thrusters firing. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at 
that is so neat. Yeah, let's just get over there so you can hear it. As it's reorienting itself. <gasps> oh. Look, you can see it falling, oh Brandy. That gosh. is so cool. Wow. If that's not awesome. Reminded of that moat in the sun. Bye, Haley. <laughs> this is incredible. Excellent tracking shot. Look at that. Look at that. It was falling, the booster. Yeah, um, the booster's going to come down and land on the barge. Really? Now there you have it, everybody. And now the booster is coming down to land on the barge. They call this the jellyfish. Wow. That will be forever ingrained in my brain. I'm going to say, do the jelly roll, guys. <laughs> it, oh. How Look amazing. Look, you can see up to its the, name. Yeah, so again. it's going up and the booster is coming You can see the other one going up, still Thomas going up. Oh, oh, look at that! You are watching stage one on the right with our camera, and you are watching stage two on the left with the stage. SpaceX camera. Start, uh, Thomas what is going to follow that September first stage, 15, because what we know is that if we behind <laughs> All right, what do you girls think? We made it. Was it worth the drive? Yes. Yay, thank you! Yay! Yay. This has been a Global Bob Broadcast Network production. <laughs> <laughs>